Hey friends, in today's episode of Bad Omer Garage, we're going to be looking back, behind us, literally, as I've needed a rear view mirror in this car for a long time, and I finally picked up this little gem at the swap meet for like four bucks. Of course it doesn't fit this car, it's made for who knows what, but with a grinder and a welder and a little bit of luck, we're going to be able to have rear vision in the old Model A. Follow along. So, some of you guys may remember way back when I started putting this car together that uh, on the inside, what it looked like. Let's see if I can show you. Right up there where there should be a rear view mirror. I have these holes, but what I don't have is the proper rear view mirror to uh, mount in the holes. So, what I need to do is call it some way to adapt this little guy that I found at the swap meet and put it up there. Now this is pretty slick, but as you can tell, it's it's made for something it looks like with a, a rounded kind of mounting uh, surface and two screws. And I need something that's gonna come in here and adapt to where we put the, we can adapt it up to where the original Model A mirror would have gone. So I want it to hang down about like this, but I can't use that mount. So. What are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna go ahead and start doing some cutting and grinding. We're gonna build a little plate that fits on these holes right here, and I'll bolt up there, and then I'm gonna build a new drop down. Because if you look at the back of this thing, it's uh, pretty easy. That screw comes out, and all the articulation happens inside this little shaft stuck in the uh, mirror. So if I can build myself another arm that bolts on to where this bolt goes on there, uh, I can put it wherever I want to. And I'm thinking something about like that would be pretty slick. What do you think? Let's get after it. Hey guys, I just want to take a quick moment here and uh, give a quick shout out. I got a care package in the mail the other day and I've been, I've just been excited to show you guys. If you guys haven't heard of them, ESS, uh, Eye Safety Systems, they're just incredible company, friends of mine. They make great eyewear. And you can see that I wear these safety glasses every day. Uh, you've seen me wear them in all my videos. I wear them in the shop. They also have great sunglasses. I wear them every day when I'm out driving or flying or whatever it is I'm doing. Ooh, and these are polarized, so I'll be wearing them out fishing. Uh, but there you go, ESS. Stylish, good glasses. I wanna tell you guys at ESS, thanks for uh, the care package, I appreciate it. And of course, a sticker for the sticker board. So the next time you see that, it'll be sporting my ESS sticker. Thanks, ESS. All right, guys. So as I said earlier, I picked this little uh, rear view mirror. I, I don't know what it's out of. I picked it up at the swap meet. Like, I seriously think I gave the guy four bucks for him, and he had three of them sitting on the table there, and I picked the best looking one. And I don't know what it's for. If you guys know what this is for, what it might fit off of, uh, let me know. I'm not going to destroy anything in here if you need any, the piece. I'm basically going to take this piece that mounts to the car off. So if you need one of these, please let me know. Reach out, put a comment down below, or send me an email. The uh, My email is down in the description. But my plan here is just to take this apart like, like so. Take that screw out. Yeah, there we go. And see what we're left with? We're left with this little guy right here, which, which this articulates around and does the mirror adjustment. So all I need is really something kind of like this piece that has a flat side on it that'll mount up against it. And I can basically mount this thing wherever I want to. So we'll just kind of have to come over here to the old drawing board, come up with some, I don't know if I need to do a cardboard drawing of this one or not. Uh, I think I'm just going to use a little bit of round stock that I had laying around. I think this was left over from a muffler clamp. I can probably trim that up to fit there. We'll put some heat on this bad boy, and I think we'll make it turn. And then I just got to build a little plate that'll mount up to that piece in the car that we were looking at a little bit ago. I think that'll be pretty cool. It ought to work, hold in there, be steady. We'll find out. We'll find out if I can drill through this stuff. It might be kind of hard. I don't know. Let's bust out some tools and see what kind of damage we can do. All I'm doing is I'm just working the flat edge of this round stock here with the old. Uh, side cutter 
I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to go real nice and easy on this edge and continue to work that round stock to make it flat. But I'm not going to give it much pressure. They don't call this the death wheel for nothing. Basically, all I'm trying to do is get this flat side of this mirror to have a, a purchase on that, uh, on that round stock. And we're just about there. I need to bring this up just a little bit further because it's not quite far enough to have a good square seat on there. Once I bring that up, then I'm going to hit it with a center punch and uh, drill the hole through it. That hopefully it lines up with the hole on here. While I finish that up, uh, making this a little bit bigger, I'm going to disappear for a little bit. I will come back and hopefully I have this thing set up where that mirror will mount on this little piece of round stock. Hey, speaking of disappearing, did you hear about the magician that messed up his disappearing act? Yeah. He got out there on the stage and he told everybody who's on the count of three, he was going to disappear. So he gets up there and he goes, uno, dos, and poof, he disappeared without a trace. Okay, well, there we have it. I'd say that's pretty good for a rough draft. Uh, turned that round stock into something that will mount to this mirror. I don't know if I want it to mount like this or, or this way with the round stock pointing up. We'll figure that out when we get in the car, it doesn't matter. But what I need to do now is I need to make this piece now look something like, you know, kind of like this where it would, well, not like that. I basically wanted to come up and do a nice little turn, like a 90 degree turn and then mount into something. But I don't want it to look like something a guy welded together with a coat hanger and, you know, whatever. I want it to kind of look a little bit better, so. So let me think on this one for a little bit, uh, and then we'll get out the torch, put some heat on this guy, and try to get a bend. I might not do a full 90, something that looks a little bit less, maybe a 90. I don't know. i got to move on to making this uh, piece of flat strap here, uh, marking it up, make a little pattern where I can match those three holes that are in the car, trim that off, and I'm going to put round edges on this as well, make it like kind of oval shape, kind of to mimic this and hoping that it will bolt up real well up here to these three bolts. So I'm thinking kind of an oval shape right there with the mirror hanging down. Okay, just a quick tip here on how I'm gonna transfer those three holes over to that other piece. I'm gonna do the, uh, the dirty finger trick. It's not as bad as it sounds. It only works if your fingers are dirty. Take a piece of tape, stick it on there, and then rub it on there real good where the holes are. And make sure the dirt and grinding dust and everything from your fingers transfers on that piece of tape. And voila. Now I just got to go take this piece of tape, stick it on my piece of metal, center punch some holes, and start doing some drilling. All right, guys. Well, here are our pieces. I got this piece finished that goes up on the uh, header of the car there. And then this one's got a mount to it, come out, come down. I'll give you a side angle here. Come down about like this and bend somehow to get to here. Now I don't wanna just make it look like too simple. I don't wanna just be straight out here with a 90 degree bending down. I kinda want it to come up, up a little bit and then down. So I can do that pretty easily by just heating this up enough where it makes my uh, the more you heat it, the greater the bend will be, the greater the area of the bend will be. So I'm going to heat up a big portion of it and try to get a nice tight bend around. And then all i got to do is trim this back piece here a little bit so that it'll mount flush on there. And then we can weld it up and grind it and whatnot. Anyway, so I came in here with my Sharpie and I put a mark. You can see there right straight down the top of this so that I, can know, I know I can keep my bend, you know, perpendicular to my mounting surface here. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get the torch out. Let's make some flames. Heat this bad boy up and see if it'll bend. And of course, as soon as I start heating it, my Mark goes away, marking my perpendicular, whatever. Just 
try to get them up. There we go. See, I'm heating this thing up with a nice long piece, long piece of heat up here. So I'm going to get it nice and red. There we go. Now we can see what we can do. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I drilled it out so it'll fit. Oof, those are hot. Man, these new gloves I got are just coming in handy. I'll tell you what, it's great. All right, uh, this is what we came up with. So I drilled it out there and I uh, fit it in there and that's about how it'll sit, like so. And you can see where it kind of sticks through in the back and that's fine. I might adjust it a little bit, but Basically, now all I got to do is come in through here and hit that with the grinder, put a good weld on it, clean it up. I'll smooth the front of it out first, and then this sucker's going to be ready to roll. All right, guys, there it is in all of its glory. Don't get too close. Actually, I'll let you get close. There you go. You see how we made this bracket mount to the original mirror? Not original, this car, but old school mirror. And then I uh, built the bracket to go on the top. That's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and paint it. And then I'm going to go ahead and countersink these holes and buy the right screws. I want to get some bubble head screws to go on there. I think it'll look better than that. But, I mean, that's not bad, right? It works. still articulates because your articulation is in that little ball. That's it, man. I think that came out pretty good. I think that's a win for the day. We're doing pretty good on knocking things off of this list here for the Model A. Uh, door handles, got that done last time. Window mechanisms, glass, we have it. We just haven't put them in yet. Exhaust mufflers, those are done. Fixed trans leak. I'm going to leave that there because every time I cross it off, I get a new trans leak. So we're going to leave that alone. Rear view mirror. Not bad. Hey, thanks for joining along, guys. I sure appreciate it. In a minute, you're going to see some uh, videos pop up on the screen here and some links. You can just click on one of those bad boys and enjoy more of the channel. Thanks for following along.